Hey guys, it's Red Chuck Dave's just a supplementary video. Uh, I kind of want to have strength since I wanted to try out launchers nominally. And shotguns seem like they're the best weapon in the early game. So, with my other character, I have not very much strength. But with this character, I'll wind up having more. So, this will probably be the one I actually play through the game with. Let's see how the tutorial goes with this class. Uh, I guess you don't start with the shotgun, so. But you can get one in the tutorial area, as far as I know. Silly hair. Oh, you can have a mustache on a female character? That's pretty good. Uh, I kind of like this color scheme. Sure, why not? There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not going to talk over this entire video. But, and I'm probably just going to skip the intro, if possible. I could just, like, hold X. It's still loading right now. A prophecy once told that there would come a time when the sun would grow dark and cold. Well, I might talk over it. We'll see. Let's see if I can get into a rhythm a for the talkie talk. Mine's kind of askew and wild, uh, theoretical happening. The dead would rise in its wake. Ah, there we go. Let's uh, skip to cutscene. So this this run I'm just gonna go straight to the first world, use the shotgun, and go for it. Uh, we will get a sidearm shotgun, even if I don't get a main one. Uh, I'm not trying to copy pasta builds. I'm just trying to attack the game in a way that will make it efficient, <laughs> and not not sort of mind numbing dying over and over. Um, and we may well switch off of shotguns, but this seems like a better build as far as when you pick up a weapon, you're more likely to be able to use it. Uh, I believe there's an obelisk, so we don't have to worry about the damage I took there. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, right, I don't want to... The reason why I don't want to... Oh, we can open this later, I guess. Of course. I would prefer to have the fan on, but that ruins the audio. It doesn't really ruin the audio, but it makes it worse. <laughs> so, whenever I start feeling too hot, I'll stop talking. But, uh, I might actually buy Call of Duty now. <laughs> Uh, just to play the Battle Royale mode, basically, because it seems much better than any other equivalent. And it would probably be pretty fun for about a month. Um, you only get rewarded for top five, but uh, I think top five is somewhat consistent solo. Um, in a squad, it's mostly about like killing efficiently and picking a spot where there will only be one other team to fight off. Uh, so killing matters a lot in squads, but in solo it's mostly just about where you go and when you go there, and that's about it. Uh, I mean, you can be Captain Shooty Man, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're more likely to win. Just get more kills and die a lot more often. Uh, there's a handful of people that are able to do both, and there's some hybrid between the two, like someone who's really good at the murder, but also really good at the movement. That's probably the ideal Battle Royale player. Uh, oh, did I pick up an assault rifle? I'm not sure. I don't believe so.
I gotta hold our one. This guy doesn't seem very good at his job. Dodging is actually pretty important in this game, especially in the late game. Uh, and, of course, if you want to hit enemies in the back, you kind of have to. So, it's a dodgy game. Uh, the original Demon Souls is also a dodgy game, so I wonder if that's the inspiration behind that, because there's a lot of other Demon Souls-like aspects to this game. It does seem like it might be the hardest game that isn't part of the proper series, other than Neo, I suppose. But the reason why Neo is hard is not necessarily because it's directly hard on a single playthrough, but just because of the um, skill ceiling is much, much higher than pretty much every other game, other than like Ninja Gaiden, maybe, which is the same developers, of course. So this time, I know where the lever is, but the tutorial doesn't take forever. How's that? And the obelisk is over here, okay. So I just want to equip the assault rifle. And away we go. And it's a different assault rifle than what we had the first time. So we're probably okay to stick on strength, but expertise is still going to be good to level up in general, and finesse perception will both be good as well. I'm going to say perception. And the reason why I'm changing my stat focus is just to be able to equip more weapons, so I can experiment more. With the other build, I would have just been sort of loop forced into a position where I'm using... Uh, Assault rifles only, or something. But I'm sure there's very good assault rifles in the game. But I'm also pretty sure the loot is random, so... I can't guarantee that's what you're going to get on any given round. It's not completely random. Uh, I didn't equip the assault rifle, apparently. Or maybe I did, and I'm just dumb. I did equip the assault rifle. Madness. Uh, it seems like this does more damage than the other one. Could be wrong, maybe I can't count. And I'm remembering that X is its a uh, reload. Hooray. Let's see if I can remember where all the tutorial shit is, but we could always come back and get it later, if not. I think, I'm pretty sure there's a way back. I like the head of the room. We don't have the uh, other weapons yet, so. Must only pew pew. This does seem to be going better though. I guess I could have uh, done a test run to uh, try to get better at the game before I explore it. That is the same loot. So. Some of the loot is the same. I know the that shotgun, offhand shotgun drop is pretty consistent. Or is consistent. Uh, some loot is random, some isn't. A quandary. You mean like every game ever? Damn. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another obelisk like right around the corner, I think. 
But we'll go get this one anyway. So I'm probably gonna use the offhand shotgun and upgrade it immediately when we get it. I'd have to get four more stats there. So the reason why I'm focusing strength is not for my opponent, it's just so I can equip more weapons. Which is an interesting idea. Of course in Dark Souls you would just focus strength for damage and for weapons. Or strength and dexterity, as the case may be. I believe that's where we just were. And I believe the only permanent upgrade in here is the shotgun. Or not the shotgun, the grenade upgrade. Alright, let's give this a shot. <laughs> okay, here's the stats in the game. Finesse gives you reload bonus and is a stat requirement for many weapons, mostly precision weapons. Perception gives you crit damage bonus, which is bonus for headshots or back shots or whatever the enemy's weak point is. I'm pretty sure those are the only two, but I'm not 100% positive. Um, and also is used for weapon requirements. Same thing with strength, except it gives you melee weapon bonus, which can be good uh, with certain builds, but it's probably not very good in the late game. Agility gives you... Uh, more iframes on your dodge, I'm guessing. Um, which is probably quite good if you leveled up high enough. Kind of like adaptability or something. Fletching reduction and health. Toughness is the health stat. Uh, I don't think health is that great because it just gives you a nominal amount of health. Like, gives you 6 instead of 2. But it doesn't, like, give you 15 or something like that. So, you can't, like, stack up health like crazy. Endurance is stamina. Uh, this class has pretty high stamina to start with, so that's nice. Expertise is basically damage. <laughs> damage on regular attacks. Insight is special weapon scaling, which, as far as I could tell, is the damage on your R1, your sp special, <laughs> special attacks. Uh... Like your spells or your secondary functions of your weapons, which means inside is probably the worst set in the game for al almost every build. Uh, unless you need it to equip something. Uh, just because you don't have, uh, like you might have to fight 20 or 50 w enemies between bonfires. And you're not going to be able to shoot them all with 50 spells. The other class definitely has a better... ...special attack though than this one. Oh, look how much more damage it is. The, that's without the downed bonus. Uh, I think it does like 30-40% more melee damage. The weapon might be better as well. Just can't sprint while reloading the horror. Alright, let's see if we can negotiate this. I did it. Oh, feels good, man. And I guess we're gonna make it all the way through this tutorial. <laughs> uh, this was kind of my approach to Lords of the Fallen, was I played through it once, and then I did, like, test runs before I did commentary, and that worked really well. Uh, but that was, like, intended to be professional. And this is more intended to be like a relaxing chill stream, but that might just not be possible with this game. Because, <laughs> uh, 
pretty much everyone I've seen play it dies a shit though, no matter how good they are at Souls games. Which, uh, for me it depends on the game, but Bloodborne and Neo I'm certainly very, very good at. Look at that aim, oh boy. And I'm not bad at Dark Souls, but I mean, I think it'd be Dark Souls 3 with like under 15 deaths, so maybe even less than that. And that's all bosses and everything. Not all DLC bosses, but before the DLC existed. Uh, 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 this one visually bugged out the first time I did it. I guess it'll do that again. I don't think so. Seems to have worked. Uh, oh, this is the boss fight, right? So we don't want to go that way yet. Want to go this way and uh, get the bonfire shortcut. It also seems like this character is just tougher. Not sure if that's the case. Might be an illusion. <laughs> I think I hit the one in the back with a grenade, and it one-shot them. Totally playing that one out. Oh yeah. All skill. Uh, I'll do lower on the regular runs, or the regular videos, as far as talking goes. Hmm, okay, I don't remember where the permanent upgrade is, though. Darn. <laughs> I don't think, uh, grenade capacity is the end all be all, but I guess I can go. Look at my own video and figure out where it was. And that gives me another idea for a future video. So, hooray. Alright, I guess grenade is a viable option to deal with these guys. 501. I don't remember doing that much damage on the other character, but okay. For some reason, my reload got canceled. I don't know why. Can't lock around the corner, unfortunately. Oh, that was. Super unlucky with how their attacks combined. It is pretty amusing that the walk back is harder than. <laughs> it's a shorter distance, but it's harder than just the regular fight. Wonder if they have a QA guy who did the no deaths run of this game. I bet you they don't. <laughs> they don't have any people that to test it, so. It's not that fair of a. Uh, criticism, but it does seem like some of the stuff is just hard-coded to screw you over. Which is better than the alternative, but... Oh, nice. They, uh, grenaded themselves. Nice play. And again. Yeah, 92 as a down attack. Not bad. We could try melee on the boss. Uh, I suspect shooting with a gun is more likely to hit the weak point, so it'll probably still be better. Okay, so the second number is the one I was familiar with. But there you go, grenades apparently not that bad. Reload. And where we go. Uh, this boss isn't that bad. Also, I feel like I have a much better grasp in the game now. 
Actually, this boss is easier than the trash mobs, much like many of the other bosses in the game. I think there's a couple of exceptions. Oh, I'm pressing X to dodge. Apparently he also has a reload animation. I'm not perceiving any difference. I think the other class had more dodge stat. I took that kind of on purpose because I wasn't able to reload and I still didn't get the reload off. It's horrible. Because he interrupted it with damage that time. Not really sure what inspired him to do a different attack. But yeah, doesn't he do the stomp like 700% of the time? Why? Why is he doing other shit? Oh well. Gotta chalk that one up to randomness. Every other attempt, he doesn't stomp over and over and over. And at the start of the fight, over and over and over. There has been a patch, though. <laughs> I would venture to say that this guy's AI is not very good. Just a hazard guess. But one day I'll be able to beat the trivial tutorial boss in the first try. I believe. Oh, that works. Used all the mana, but whatever. Oh. I was silent to listen and hear if I had a phone call, which would aggravate me deeply. You saw the end of the stream yesterday. <laughs> because I, I don't get that many phone calls, I tell people, send me an email or whatever. But somehow, I always get phone calls when I'm streaming, which is not very often anymore. Or when I'm talking over stream, which is extremely uncommon at this point. But apparently not a common enough to avoid that vein uh, of existence. Did not really You what? I don't know. I, I must be canceling out of like the last millisecond of the reload animation, which is just too much. It must be the entire reload animation perfectly. I'm sorry, I, I am inclined to defend this game from its righteous accusers with its death plan, some problems. Unrighteous accusers. So. Alright. Uh, there's 
probably gonna be some recording glitches in this. It's just a, a direct upload. Yeah, that's all. I guess I should dodge left through everything. Uh, what? What was that attack? Why did the attack have more bullets than uh, the average attack? <laughs> Alright. It'll be the magic of editing. Hooray for Share Factory. <laughs> because the YouTube video editor doesn't work anymore. And I'm too lazy to... Well, uh, my dad has Adobe, so I could just get Adobe Premiere working. But, too lazy. Making stagger a stat, a specific stat, is kind of dumb. Like, enemies should flinch to melee almost by default. Uh, except for, like, big enemies or something. I'm guessing I lost the soul pool at some point, but maybe I'm just forgetting that I pick it up every time. No, we still got it. Uh, that, that attack is super inconsistent on um, distance. Um, how well it tracks. This is a regular enemy later in the game, so it's important to figure out how he works so I don't get annoyed by him later. Though I think later on it doesn't really have that much health comparatively. He doesn't have that much health right now either, but enough to be annoying. Did you see that? See how I didn't dodge and it didn't do shit to me? As opposed to the other time when I did dodge and it bonked me right in the face. It seemed like a problem. Just a tad. Yeah, I have no idea how to dodge that. So. We got him. <laughs> All skill. Uh, where is that grenade upgrade? Okay, so there's our shotgun that I want. And we should be able to equip it. Oh, you can't go back. What? <laughs> I guess we're never getting that grenade upgrade. Well, maybe you can go back after the fact. I don't know. This is still a kind of cool effect, as far as the audio goes, I mean, visually it's fine. That's something that they did a lot, and like Duke Nukem, the good <laughs> old Duke Nukem does like a orbital elevator kind of thing, wow. Well, uh, so we can go back. I think. 
Maybe not. Oh. No grenade upgrade for you. You lit the path with before uh, we join us. Go. No. Mm -mm -mm. It is said. In the beginning. Oh yeah, I was gonna record the was the better audio, but <laughs> guess I'll have to do it one more time or just put up the other one. Uh alright. So we're gonna get our stat upgrade and that'll be it for this video, and then I'll probably start streaming after that. I need eight hand, which I believe was the first step. Finesse. And we should probably get some expertise, because that's the king stat. Most of the time. to switch weapons at the... Monolith as well. There we go. Oh. Shotgun. I think this one is like 30 ammo. 50 ammo. They buffed it. Interesting. Buffed the ammo. Oh, uh, we can scrap one of the extra things. That should give me enough to upgrade. Now we need seven for this one, which I would have to, like, scrap stuff that I already have equipped. Not a good idea. But away we go. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. I'm gonna start streaming shortly.